Hey, my divas. So I um, want to talk to you guys about some um, goals that I have for this year. Sorry, this is like bothering me. Some goals that I have for this year, not just for me, but for my channel, um, for us, um, because I want to know you guys a little bit better. That's actually one of my goals. I wrote them all out on my phone, which you probably can't see because of the glare. There you go. But um, I want to be more open with you guys as my family and let you into things that are happening. I'm kind of a personal type of person. Um, I have been open in the past and I kind of feel like things just like blew up in my face. So this year I'm taking a different approach. I am going to tell you guys some things that I've been keeping from you, um, but I'm going to wait until they get much closer and I know for sure it's a go. So um, I want you guys to feel like you can talk to me and be open with me, comment on all my videos and just um, get to know each other on a more deeper level. Um, so that we can have and build a stronger relationship. I don't want it to kind of feel like I'm talking to you guys and then that's it. I want us to like really start to build our relationship up. And I think that kind of broke down last year because of what happened in my life and me taking a break from YouTube and that sucks. So I really miss you guys and I want to conversate more often. Um, my next goal is to grow my hair out as long as possible. I know you guys know that I've been trying to do that. I've been really slacking on taking my vitamins in the morning like I used to because the vitamins that I had were chewable and I loved them and then I switched over to just a dissolvable um, type of a, a vitamin. You put it under your tongue for 30 seconds and then you swallow it and it tastes really bad but <laughs> it does work so I need to try to work on growing my hair out. Right now I washed it so it's just up in a bun and it's really really curly and that is why I'm trying to grow it out because um, This side looks to be like a little bit more thin lately and this is where I shaved it so it's weird. But anyway, um, I just wanted to grow out because with me having naturally curly hair and even when I perm it, it shrinks up really short and I want it to be like, I don't know if you guys have seen them. I think they're called the Glam Twins, but it's um, Kelsey and her sister, I forget her sister's name, but um, their hair is amazing and that's like the whole reason why I started following their channel. I know that's stupid but whatever. They are really really beautiful girls and they're smart and they are hairstylists and they live in Atlanta I think. But um, <clears throat> I was just like obsessed with their hair and I wanted to know what they were using, how they grew it out, all that types of stuff. So I am trying to replicate the length of their hair. Um, so check them out on YouTube. You'll probably be like oh my god they're freaking gorgeous. It's like amazing. The other goal I have is to get a healthy body for this summer. I am so sick and tired of going to the beach or going to a swimming pool or even being in shorts and feeling like fat ass. I'm just sick of it. I said it. There it is. It's out in the open. And that is one of the reasons why I am doing my weight loss challenge. So if you have not seen that video, I will link it up here um, because that is really, really important to me. So who inspired me to do that was a couple of people. Um, my friend Debbie, she calls herself um, Invisible something. I'm sorry, Debbie. I'm terrible with like YouTube names, but I would totally link her channel down below. She's awesome. She lost a lot of weight and I saw she had a Fitbit and I'm like, oh my God, I need to get back on my game. So after my surgery, which is now, um, I'm really trying to work on getting myself back to where I was before and dropping weight along the way. Um, Cece, she's here on YouTube, Cece Dawn, and she encouraged me to lose the weight too because she's amazing. She's really, really young, but she's so funny. She's so awesome. And she dropped 40 pounds on Weight Watchers. So I was like, I can totally do this on Weight Watchers. If you hear my stomach, I am so sorry, but um, that's another thing. Like, the more I eat, which is weird, but the more I eat, the more my metabolism speeds up, the hungrier I get. It's like it burns off, and then my stomach is like yelling out to the world, feed me. So <clears throat> just ignore that. I only have a few minutes, and then I have to um, like try to upload these videos and get to work. Like I don't even know if these are going to go up today because I'm like trying to rush out the door. And I've been working out in the mornings, which has made me like completely exhausted when I come home. Like My body is like 
not want to do anything. I just want to sleep. And I remember when I was working out, um, like hardcore, that would happen a lot. Like I would work out at the gym, my body would just be drained and I would sleep a lot longer than I'm used to. I'm used to sleeping six hours a day. I think I probably slept like eight and a half today, which cut into this time for us. <laughs> so I'm sorry. So getting a healthy body for summer, um, it's not really about the pounds. Like, yes, I have a goal for pounds. Yes, I have a goal for what size I want to be, but I know when to stop. I know when I'm gonna feel comfortable and I can't really say because I've never been this low in my numbers before or in my clothes before. So I can't tell you guys when I'm going to quit because I have not reached that point yet. Um, the next thing I want is to complete all of my projects, like kill my projects, like murder them. So I have like this Project 10 Pan going and some of the items are really, really slow moving. So I think that I'm going to stop my Project 10 Pan and revamp it, start a whole new Project 10 Pan. Um, <clears throat> and I'll have a perfume Project Pan going on as well. And then I have a 16 and 16 lipstick Project Pan. Those two, the perfume and the lipstick, are going amazingly well. Um, it may look like in my updates that I don't have a lot of progress, but trust me, it's gonna be awesome this year. I have no doubt about that. I'm so happy that two of my projects are going well um, and I just have to work on the other one. So <clears throat> I'm really excited to show you guys the progress of my perfumes because I think that that is going to be like totally knocking you guys out of the ballpark. And I don't even know how I use them like I do. I just do. I'm just great at it. So yeah, yay me. Um, <laughs> I also want to be more confident like I don't know if it comes across that I'm a confident person I think in my daily life people tell me that I bite my tongue and I don't speak up for myself like I should but honestly like this is what happens when stupid shit happens in my life like people do ridiculous things and then my first thought is like it's like a cat has my tongue because I'm just flabbergasted that you can be that much of a jerk you know what I mean? Like, I'm just shocked. I'm totally speechless in that moment. Like, I have nothing to say. I do not understand where it's coming from. I do not know why you're doing what you're doing. And I'm just thinking, like, any logical person will know that they're being a jerk right now. And when they calm down, they will reassess the situation and take accountability for what they've done. Sometimes that doesn't happen. But that is why I don't immediately lash out at people like that's just not me i used to be that person and i'm not anymore i'm more of a um i kind of like take my time so sometimes things will happen and then like three weeks or a month even later i will address it and people are like you're still upset about that it's like when it happened i didn't initially respond because it was total crap and there was no reason for me to get wrapped up in it but now that some time has passed and I've thought about it and I've processed it, yeah, I need to say something to you because you have not yet come to me and clear things up. So I think I need to be a little bit in between who I was before and who I am now um, so that I'm not wasting so much time in the middle and like rehashing the old things. Um, and I just want to be more confident in doing that because I don't want I don't like conflict at all but I have to deal with it. So I want to be more confident, um, not just with my body and who I am as a person, but how I am addressing my life issues. Um, so yeah, I don't want the world to think that I'm holding myself back or that I'm not being completely me all the time and totally myself. So, I have two more goals and these are financial goals um the first one is money 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 and i don't want it to sound like i'm greedy but i mean i make pretty good money i'm pretty good at saving um but i want to kick it up a notch you know i'm getting ready to i'm going to be getting older i mean there's no stopping time and i don't want to look back and say gosh i really should save my money i shouldn't have bought that makeup i shouldn't have bought those shoes like i don't want to spend frivolously this year I think I did really good last year, but I want to like do better this year. Last year I didn't buy hardly any makeup, um, but I did really like eat out a lot and I wasted a lot of my money at like fast food restaurants or diners or whatever, you know, and I don't want to do that this year because I can hang on to that. 
I have big plans for trips this year and I have big plans for the next two years as far as like um, I want to move and buy complete new furniture like dishes all the way down to a flat screen TV and a car so I have really big goals and I need to accomplish them and the only way to accomplish them is to pinch my pennies you know um, I don't need the coolest new stuff this year it's gonna be cool new stuff next year and the year after that and what I really need is not to focus on what I have in front of me but to think about the future and at some point I want to live in a really really ridiculously expensive house and if I budget right and I happen to have certain life events happen from God himself who is always watching over me I will have this crazy ridiculous house that I probably spent nothing on so I am focused on building up my finances because right now like the banks suck um, you can put money in the bank all day and all night and you're not gonna get any interest like it's crappy so I have no choice but to do is do this on my own and I'm even kind of nervous about doing a 401k of my job I should have done that years ago but their payback interest rates and things like that are just shitty so um yeah that's where I'm at I think I am going to start the 401k and we will talk about these things and how I'm doing with my goals throughout the year um but I definitely think I'm going to do the 401k I have several accounts at the bank and I'm just trying to slowly stack my funds um it's like you don't want to go on a trip and you save all this money and then you go on the trip and then now you don't have any money left over. Like I want to go on the trip and then come back and still have like a chunk of money in the account. You know what I mean? So it's not like I spent eight months saving up and it's all gone. You know? So that is one of my goals. The next goal is that, like I said, I want to move, buy new furniture, get a car. And I had this goal of doing it in 2017. But it may end up being 2018 just because I want to be smart financially. I don't want to just rush into things because I want it and it's right there and it's on sale. I want to make sure that my money is perfectly right. Like getting out of debt um, because I have student loans and making sure that I'm paying off what it cost me to have this surgery and the physical therapy that I went through. Um, it wasn't cheap. It's like $1,500 and it's like an additional bill just hanging around in my house. So there are things that I need to get in order. So those are my goals, you guys. Um, let me know if you have any personal goals for this year um, or things that you want to accomplish and we can help each other stay on track. Like totally want to be accountable for these things because I don't want to deal with this in the years to come. Like it's ridiculous and I need to become a grown up. Um, you know, like it, there's scary crap out there and the only way to deal with it, honestly, is to have cash in your pocket. Like that's just it. So I hope that you guys, um, enjoyed this video and are inspired in some type of way. Leave me comments down below. Um, let me know what's going on with you and have a wonderful day and week. I will see you in the next video. Deuces.